Hmm. I don't know if you're going to like my reply to this video or not. This young person right here, young lady or whatever, is saying ho, bitch, nigga, and all that. Now, to be respected, a woman or a man must carry themselves in a certain manner. I have done thousands, if not millions of things that I am not proud of. But there's a certain level of dignity that I must display in public and in anywhere. If I'm fucking off, I'm going to be the most respectful in the motherfucking room. Like, damn, that nigga fucking up and he's still respectful. First of all, we need to kill the word nigga because that made nigger obsolete. It's in the music, it's in everything. This young person is a beautiful young person. That person's looks will be enhanced a million times if the person could only speak in a language that is respectful to themselves. And what do I mean by that? We get enough flack as it is about how black people are militant, hardcore, and thugged out and do nothing. How can you be all that proud and all that angry and all that one little body that she got? respect you could be the most beautiful person on the planet earth but when you open your mouth and sound like this young person right here they lose all credibility there's a time to turn it on and a time to turn it off and to get a point across she could have did it way more fantastical than that See, she's speaking to the ignorant, so-called, in her own word, niggas. But me, at this point, I can't say anything bad to this girl. Anything bad about this girl. All I can do is give a sense of, you are worth more than that, to this person. She's speaking of someone mistreating her or doing her wrong. But she's speaking in a manner that nobody will understand because after they get to, Nigga, motherfucker, but that, they're not going to want to hear her. In the court of public opinion, that is not the way to get your word across. <laughs> Shit, look at her. I truly believe she is smarter than the words in which she uses to defeat her combatant. It's only a matter of time. Slow down to say what you have to say. She could have said exactly the same shit she said in a slow, monotone voice to get her points across. Me, I hate looking into the camera. I'd rather look at myself on the screen. Hold on, let me answer the phone. How can I help you? Pretty good, pretty good. No, she went to go pick up some stuff so we could do some yard work today. She should be home any minute. That's a call back in like 5, 15 minutes or something like that, and she should be home. Thank you. Bye-bye. Now, that's a prime example. I could have said, hey, she ain't fucking here. She'll be right back soon, so why don't you fucking call back? Bye. But no. Hello. How you doing? No, she's not in right now. She wanted to go get us some stuff so we could finish up the yard work. Why don't you call back in 5 or 15 minutes and she should be home. See, that is the difference between, no, nah, man, she ain't fucking home right now. No, nah, motherfucker, call back. Who you going to want to speak to? Now, if it was between me and this person right here to get the last job on earth, who you going to hire? Perception is 99.9% .9 of how people treat you. They say the first, uh, the first, uh, the first impression is the best impression. You don't want to, have to fix something after you've broke it. This is a beautiful young person. I don't know what they are, but I know they're beautiful. They're made in the image of me. Look just like me. 
feel from the word sound just like mine. When a part of me appears to be dying, what do I do to heal it? All I can do is pass it on the knowledge in which I have obtained from the older people that I listen to. Elders, elders are at an all-time low in the quote-unquote African community. Now, don't get me wrong. African Americans consist of half-breeds. White fathers, black mothers, black fathers, white mothers. These people born into these situations are considered black. That brings me to my next point. Barack Obama. Black people say he's not black because he's benefited from the white side of his family. Therefore, he's never really felt the brunt of being black. But Rock ain't never been called a nigga. So they say. But I have. We gotta learn how to respect each other. All of each other. All the time. This young woman. Disrespected herself more than anybody else. Because she showed people a side of her. That probably is not her at all. And in saying that, I appreciate who you talking to, ho, ha ha, the video. Because I know this person right here. I physically know her. I know her. I've raised her. I've seen her. I've spoke to her in several different forms throughout the course of my life. And I'm going to say to her what I've always said to her in any form that she's ever been in, white, black, Mexican, or whatever. Respect yourself to get your point across. Because to make a beautiful woman look ugly, she only has to open her mouth. To make a beautiful woman look wise, she only has to watch her words. To feel the wisdom of a beautiful woman, it's only to listen to her voice. To see how confused, broken up, and distraught a woman is, all you have to do is see her rant. Once you see her rant, you've broken her down in many ways. Because now we know how to get to you. Now we know how to hurt you. To show your weakness is the last thing any woman should do. And especially one colored like me. As you see the sun goes in and out, and I remember my son was telling me, Dad, what are some of the nicknames you had? And my sister used to say I was orange. As you see the sun go in and out of the window, it shows the colors in which I have changed. I went from a bright high yellow to a dark brown, to an orange, a certain glow, a certain mystique about me. Well, you get the picture. All I want any young person to do, regardless of what color you are, is to always represent yourself in a respectful manner. Because if you show respect for yourself, can't nobody take respect from you. How can I help you? Do you need some help? Thank you, sweetheart. I'll be there in a second. Bye-bye. I got to go. That's the big boss, my wife. Got to go take care of some business. See you later. And you've been tubed.